Okay. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, it is my pleasure and honor to join you at this general debate and bring my country's contribution and vision on the implementation of the SDGs through trade and sustainable economic development, highlighting the importance of fostering an inclusive economy. Before I proceed, I would like to extend our gratitude to the UNCTAD leadership for their dedicated work and our close cooperation along all these years, as well as to the Secretariat. During current challenging times, trade continues to be a crucial contributor to economic recovery from the pandemic. It plays an essential role in economic development and indeed it is among the main engines for achieving the SDGs. Like many other members of UNCTAD, we believe that from a trade and development perspective, a better recovery must be based on green, resilient, fair trade and digital policies. And of course, it must be inclusive for our population and countries. As a small landlocked economy, Republic of Moldova is facing the same challenges as all the other developing countries. However, we have had a pragmatic, holistic and complex approach to trade development anchored in the multilateral trading system and in cooperation agreements with regional partners promoting an extensively liberalized trade policy. Moreover, we identify ourselves with the countries with a strong focus on accelerating the digital transformation towards inclusive innovation-driven economy. These new approaches to policy making became the basis for the new IT competitiveness strategy for fostering the digital innovation ecosystem developed in the country. Thus, one of the most important paths towards Moldova development is definitely seen through digitalization of the economy united around the common goal of contributing to the development of the ecosystem needed to launch and grow digital businesses, the adoption and wider use of digital technologies in traditional sectors of the economy, but also to ensure the human capital so vital for the country's digital transformation. The pandemic once again proved that all countries, and especially developing ones like Moldova, must adjust with flexibility to embrace the new forms of trade such as e-commerce and new forms of digital economy. In this sense, we have embarked on an important mission on digitalizing the economy, creating new opportunities for the citizens and private sector. Uh, in order to amplify and stimulate further the uh, growth, the government will soon approve an updated roadmap for boosting digitalization on the, of the national economy and development of e-commerce. It's important to stress out that the progress achieved in the last period of time has proven that it is not only a priority for the country's development, but also a catalyst for economic and social development. The key advantage of Moldova in the transition to the digital economy is the well-developed IT industry, which already contributes with 3.5% to the national GDP, and which has an accelerated growth trend uh, it had an accelerated growth trend in recent years, despite the pandemic crisis. It is important that along this road of economic development and integration into the global economy, we've been supported and had an excellent cooperation with UNCTAD. The work of UNCTAD has been important in providing expertise and analysis-based recommendation in a number of areas, such as investment, environmental sustainability, green economy and efficient custom services. For instance, the process of digitalizing the main public administration services in the area of external economic activity has been implemented with the support of the informational integrated custom system based on the ASICUDA world program developed by UNCTAD. Moldova was among the first developing countries in the region implementing this system. All these reforms have in turn increased transparency and efficiency of the activity of the custom service and economic operators contributing to the boosting of the trade of Moldova. Dear colleagues, the recognition that inclusive growth and development is not an intellectual and abstract exercise, but an imperative grounded on the needs and aspirations of real people is something we must build on. We have embraced this at UNCTAD, where in Nairobi we stress the need to translate decisions into actions, reiterating this important call for a concrete decade of action during this ministerial conference. 
In my concluding remarks, I would like to stress out that we have to further creating a safe space for the international community to consider complex and controversial issues, those related to new phenomena that transcend the borders of our countries and for which we have to work together, such as digital economy, access to finance, women empowerment, technological advancement, circular economy, green energy and others, with a view to building consensus to contribute to the broader work on development. In our efforts to revitalize the UNCTAD intergovernmental machinery, we should make sure that we never lose sight of the fact that our work affects the real lives of real people. Republic of Moldova, in its turn, stands ready to contribute constructively to the common collective goal for an inclusive growth and development of our economies. Thank you. Thank you.